Have you ever had heavy furniture whose wheels broke off because of poor quality, wrong configuration, or such in the case of the 60-pound trundle bed, a sheer overload of jumping monkeys, I mean kids? Yep, all the wheels on this one had cracked or split apart due to all three reasons. And without wheels, the bed has not only become lower and quite hard to push in, but also has become even harder to pull out. So when this package arrived, our kids got so excited for me to show them, and you, how to install the right casters the right way. And we're starting right now. The first thing we gotta do is take out the mattress and see what's going on underneath this bed frame. For some time now, my wife cut and stacked these old play mats and velcroed them in each corner. Until I found the right casters, it's actually an ingenious quick fix. The bed is a bit easier to slide as opposed to the entire wooden frame rubbing directly against the floor. Thank you playmats for the months of service and now you all need to come off so we can take a better look. So these are the screw holes where the old wheels used to be mounted through. A set of four holes per corner. Now that we have a good idea of the situation, let's bring this entire bed frame outdoor under better lighting and bigger workspace. Okay, so here we are outside. And in order to do what we need to do a little easier, we need to set this frame flat on the ground upside down. So let me explain what's going to happen in the next few minutes. First, we're going to install caster wheels in each corner. Here, 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 and here. Then, dividing the bed into four imaginary quadrants, we're going to install four additional casters. Here, 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 and here. I'll explain why I need eight of these casters in a bit. Meanwhile, I need 32 of these 1 inch long wood screws and 16 of these 3 inch long wood screws. Now, while there are many types, sizes, and composition of casters, what we have here is a metal plate type caster with a 2 inch wheel. This is typically used for industrial, automotive, and medical equipment and rolls quietly on wooden or tiled floors because of its rubber coating. A set of four of these has a load capacity of 220 pounds or 100 kilograms. Think about this. The bed frame already weighs 60 pounds and all four of us in our family weigh a total of 360 pounds. If we were to sit on the bed at once, the casters underneath would have to deal with 420 pounds of downward force. This is why the original casters broke. They simply could not handle the load. So I need to anticipate for that situation. I could go for quality by using bigger 3-inch caster wheels which can hold up to 440 pounds. But that would increase the space between the bed and the flooring which personally would look awkward to me. And that is why I'm going for quantity by adding another set of 4 casters. Because 8 casters exactly like this can hold up to 440 pounds. Okay, so let's remove all the velcro tapes and dry fit our first caster. Now this is a swivel caster, which means it can rotate 360 degrees. So we have to consider enough clearance from the bed frame walls. Not too near and not too far. The plate screw holes are farther apart than the old holes on the wood, so I'm just going to reuse one of the old holes so that I'll only need to make three new ones. Now with the 1 inch screws, I mount this caster in place. Then 
Let's make sure everything's nice and tight and give this caster a strong wiggle to check if it's secured just right. Good. Now, let's do the same for the rest of the three corners. So I finished mounting the casters in each corner and they are looking good. I'm almost tempted to call it a day and move this back into the bedroom. But of course, we should install 4 additional casters because we now know these 4 alone wouldn't be enough for the weight we had calculated for. Just like with the corner casters, I need to install 2 inch thick mounts for the inner casters so that in the end, all 8 of them will be on the same level. Luckily, I have 2 excess pieces of 2x3 lumber from my previous self-watering planter project. Later, I'm going to place them in these areas for optimum weight distribution. But first, I got to cut these two pieces to give me four equally sized pieces. So we're going to use this shorter one as the basis for our measurements. Now that I have two equal pieces, it's just a matter of cutting them in half to give me four equal pieces. Now I don't need to be super precise in my measurements since after all, we will mount all of these under the bed out of sight. One, two, three, and four. So I'm dry fitting our four pieces, making sure that they are evenly apart and not getting the way of the large bed cleats. Okay, so let's screw in the first mount. So I'm setting the caster on top of the mount so I can gauge how far or near do I need to drill pilot holes. Then using the 3 inch wood screws, I secure the mount in place. Let me take a few seconds to get rid of the dust and cobwebs across this frame since I don't want them finding their way back into the bedroom later. With the caster onto the center of the mount, we secure it in place with our 1 inch wood screws. By the way, if you're interested where I purchased these casters, I have included the store's website in the description below. They do sell a whole bunch of other hardware products and as far as these casters go, I'm quite happy with the quality and the fair price I got them for. Okay, so this is about done and I will finish the three remaining mounts and casters off camera. And this is how everything looks like. They not only look so cool and sturdy, but also I know they are sturdy and together can hold up to 440 pounds. Okay, so let's head back in to give these casters and the whole trundle bed some real world tests. Wow, now even my two-year-old boy can push this bed in and out all by himself. And finally, the jumping monkey's nest. Yep, I think this trundle bed will last longer than all of us. Push the bed. Yeah, go, go, go. Yeah, you're doing it. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm really stronger. I'm so 
stronger than you. Okay, now pull the bed. Pull the bed out. Okay. Three. 